Hello, I just wanted to pop on and make a video of um, the different things that I have at home that I use to make herbal preparations. And then I'm gonna be sharing some different herbal preparations this week with you for respiratory symptoms um, with what we currently have going on. So um, I do not have any fancy video equipment. <laughs> I don't really have any way to um, tripod and film myself and you know cut an amazing video right now um and my kids are home so you may hear them in the background but i still wanted to do this if it would be helpful so i'm going to show you some of the things that i have and i have them kind of laid out here so i've got my kitchen aid electric tea kettle and it is my favorite tea kettle by far. You don't have to have that specific one to boil water. You can obviously use anything that you have, but if you're looking for one and looking for reviews, um, this is a great one. I use it daily. Um, another thing that I think it's helpful to have is a mortar and pestle. So if you're at all getting into herbal preparation um, and drawing your own herbs or blending your own formulas, a mortar and pestle is essential. And this is a really heavy duty, um, heavy one. And I will post the link for that as well because I don't know the brand name. It's just a, I think it's granite or marble. I don't remember. So I'll have to look up the info and I'll give you the info on that. Um, Calm is a great supplement, a magnesium supplement that I have been utilizing I think especially with the anxiety that's going around with everything um, currently happening it's a great support in this times and that's what I have in my mug right now um, this is my well this is one of my collections of essential oils um, it's the ones I use most frequently um, that I have in here um, and this box was built for me um, by a relative Jim and he does amazing woodwork um, but I do use doTERRA oils and I am a distributor so if you are looking for essential oils I can set you up with a wholesale account and answer any questions you might have um, but I do use those in my herbal preparations as well come over here and I have my herbal mason I mean my amber mason jars which are great for tinctures because um, it helps with the keep the light out and then I keep them in a cool dark cabinet or corner of the house as the tinctures are steeping and um, so I use I use these a lot actually right now I have wild cherry in it and wild cherry is a great respiratory herb um, my oil bases I've got apricot oil I have avocado oil I have fractionated coconut oil um, almond oil grapeseed oil, sesame oil, but this is uh, apricot right here. And then I have some body oils that I've already previously steeped the herb in the oils and extracted the herb and this, this is what remains. I use these for body oiling. This is in a um, fractionated coconut oil base and this particular body oil has um, a lot of the fir tree um, oils in it so um, white fir spruce and um, Siberian fir in that oil preparation I also have my you know, stainless steel measuring cups infusers I have my tea infusers I do sell these on my website I think they're three bucks so they're really simple and I like them because you can stir with them like a spoon while you're infusing your tea herbs into your drink um, so that is what I have over here. Let me walk you over. This is, these are our, these are our bookshelves. So the kids have have the bottom couple shelves, and I have from like here up. So some good book resources if you're interested in learning more is the Modern Herbal Dispensatory. This goes through herbal preparations. It has beautiful illustrations. This is a gorgeous book that I'm going to be using as a textbook actually to teach. Uh, herbal preparations next year at the school that I teach at. Um, this is the Earthwise Herbal Repertory. This is great for reference. This is not a book you would read cover to cover. Um, it's a reference book that's organized by body systems. So if you're just quickly looking up information, um, you look, you know, so there's mind, emotions, and will. Uh, 
energetic, six tissue states, gastrointestinal system. So again, this is organized by body systems and then the herbs. Um, so that's good to have just if you're like needing to look at it for reference. Evolutionary Herbalism, this book changed my life. It's amazing. It takes all the different systems of natural medicine and basically puts them into one universal language. Universal Herbalism, there you go, see? Chapter three, or part three. Um, but it takes Chinese medicine, it takes Ayurveda, it takes traditional Western medicine, it takes all of these systems of classifying the body and medicine and, and puts them in one accessible common language. So that's a really helpful book. Um, these are great reference books. Secret Teachings of Plants, Psychology and Alchemy. And these are just, you know, lots of books for me to read while we're stuck at home for three weeks. Okay, or more. Here is where I have a lot of dry herb storage. Um, so I keep a lot of my, this is kind of a darker area of my house. It doesn't get a ton of light. Um, I have a lot of amber tinted mason jars and I keep a lot of my dry ingredients here that I know aren't too affected by light. I do have another area of herbal storage that I'll take you to in a minute. And then I have all my bottles and things for my formulas um, up here to once I've created tinctures or elixirs or herbal flower essences or whatever it is I'm making, I can bottle them up and store them. And those are all amber glass bottles. So, okay, I think that's the majority of the different pieces that I've talked about. I'm gonna take you out and we'll look at my dry herb storage real quick. And then tomorrow I'll start showing actual different preparations for respiratory illness.